Welcome to Sacred Flow 60, our weekly gathering for yoga and breathing and togetherness. Um, today's going to be a special class. We are doing some myofascial release, which is very deep and complicated practice. But in our very like limited exploration of it today, there are a series of techniques to release and penetrate different levels of muscle to release tension. And one time it was explained to me that the fascia, if you've ever like cut into me, like the white kind of membrane that you see um, is the fascia. So it is sort of an, it envelops the, the larger, denser, thicker muscle groups of the body. So today using just a block, we're going to release that tissue um, and we're gonna start kind of at the base of the body and then work our way up. It's just gonna sort of be woven into our vinyasa practice. A couple of these remind me of heart bench. If you like heart bench, I think you're gonna to love today's class. We are going to begin today in child's pose. Have your block nearby. And if you're using the playlist, you can press play right now. Okay, making our way to the mat, landing in your favorite child's pose. I'm going to use my block underneath my head. You don't need to do this. It's just been um, my favorite little like opening grounding pose these days. So just the lowest setting to give me a little bit of lift and pressure, um, a little stimulation release on the third eye. And if you're here with me, resting the forehead, that space between the eyebrows on the block. Give yourself a few deep breaths to really settle in. Let yourself get heavier on the mat, heavier on the block. And after a few moments, it's kind of like an intuitive threshold that you cross where you kind of feel like you've penetrated kind of like a surface layer of tension. You feel a little bit of a softening, a little opening, a little submission from the muscle. And once you're there, you can give yourself a little rock of the head side to side, swirl it around in circles. And just doing that for maybe a couple breaths. And after you've done that for a few breaths, just coming into stillness, resting, finding the breath. And start to deepen the breath. And then just taking two or three more deep breaths here, really challenging your capacity for the breath, taking it all the way in, feeling yourself filling from the inside out. Maybe opening the mouth to really release any tension. Inviting yourself to relax.
Mm. And from here, we're just gonna lift the head and slide forward to the belly. Mm. Take a moment to relax through the hip flexors, the belly. I wanna grab that block and I'm gonna lift my right side and place the block right underneath my right thigh. So the short edges are facing out to the side. Again, this is the lowest height. This would probably be a little intense, the second highest height. So just nice and um, wide and flat with the block. And bringing my belly back down, you're just gonna create a little bit of a lift underneath the thigh. You can stay propped up on the elbows here. If you'd like to lower all the way down, you can, but we're gonna be kind of like wiggling around. So I think it makes more sense to stay propped up. It takes a moment to find where you're the most comfortable and stable. Let the weight of the leg relax on the block. And then we'll just gently start to rock from side to side. Feeling the ribs, those like knots in the muscle. They're not really knots. It's just like the, the long fibers of the muscles going from side to side. One of those areas maybe you didn't realize was so tense or maybe carrying some density. You can pause anywhere that um, feels right. Like maybe you wanna get a little bit deeper, just hover. Taking a few more breaths. And then we're gonna come to center, just sort of like even out the weight, and then slowly bend the knee. Same thing, you can go side to side. <clears throat> Chip front to back. And then maybe pausing at center to Extend and flex the knee. I love doing this. You can feel like the contraction of the muscle a little bit more. It's kind of cool. And then we'll just pause with the knee bent. And you can rest your chest down if you want to back off a little bit for more sensation, staying propped up. It really lets a lot of weight get into that thigh muscle, the quad muscle. And then let's slowly release, extend the leg. Roll to the side, and we're just gonna move that block to the other leg, maybe pausing to feel the difference. 
pretty interesting. So now the block at its lowest setting is underneath the left thigh, underneath the left quad. So it's not on the knee. And just starting with the legs straight. You can stay propped up. That's definitely delivering a lot of sensation. You can lower all the way down if it's too much. Give yourself a few moments in stillness to just adjust. And then if you'd like to rock from side to side, scoot forward or backwards, you can. Ooh, totally different tightness on this leg. I'll know about you. Ooh. <laughs> wow. So then gently, I'm going to bend the knee. Find the little movements I decide or circles with the leg. And then we're gonna do a little extension and flexion. Let's pause with the knee bent. And we'll gently release. Ouch. Reaching back for your block. Good place at the top of the mat. And let's just lay on the belly for a few more moments to integrate, absorb all that work. My quads feel a little bit like jelly now. It's, it feels good. Let's bring the hands under the shoulders. We're going to press up to tabletop and then back into our first downward facing dog, lifting the hips up and back. And now to lengthen, open the backs of the legs, let them catch up with the quads. We're going to bend into the left knee and press into the right heel. So if you're just like pedaling your dog, we're just going to hold um, a pedal for a moment. Pressing into the right heel. Keep pressing away with your hands. Nice, long, toned arms. Breathe into the hamstring. And on your exhale, switch. Pressing into the left heel, bending into the right knee. And then evening out the legs, maybe a little bit of a jiggle through the knees. And then we'll look forward, walk, step, or hop to your hands. Bend deep into the knees and allow the belly to rest on the thighs. Nice, long, and relaxed spine. That includes the head and neck just hanging really heavy, creating some traction. The arms are nice and limp, or you can wrap them around the backs and the knees for a tighter squeeze. Releasing hands to the shins, inhale, flat back. Exhaling, fold down. Inhale, rise up. And hands to heart center, nice. 
deep breath once you arrive, allowing the shoulders, the jaw, the eyes all to relax. Hmm. Let's bring a little warmth into the body now. Inhale, the arms sweep all the way up. Exhale, fold in half, keeping those knees generously bent as we're warming up. Inhale for a flat back, looking forward, maybe hands lift to the shins. Exhaling, bend the knees, hands on the mat. Step your right foot back for a runner's lunge. Hands on either side of the front foot. Maybe just on the fingertips here. Let's cat cow. Inhale to open the heart. Exhale to round the spine, chin to chest. You can lift out of that front knee a little bit, but don't go for like a full pyramid stretch. We're still warming. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale, round, gather the navel in. Inhale, cow belly. Downward facing dog, softly stepping back. Vinyasa, forward to your plank. We're gonna drop the knees first as we lower to the bellies, to the single belly, all the way down. Untuck your toes, firm legs, inhale, cobra, just a little one. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Nice cleansing breath. Looking forward, walk, step, or hop to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, flat back. Bending knees, left foot's gonna lunge back, runner's lunge. Hands on either side, on your inhale, open your heart. Exhale, round the spine, toning that back leg. Inhale, belly drops, heart opens. Exhale, rounding spine, chin to chest. Inhale, cow belly breath, pausing. Downward facing dog, take a nice soft step back. On your inhale, plank pose, knees up or down, lowering to the belly again. Inhale, cobra, elbows back, heart lifts. Neck is neutral. Exhale, downward facing dog. Cleansing breath. Nice. Looking forward, walk, step, or hop to hands. Inhale for a flat back. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Samastitihi. Just taking a moment. Let's go again, arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold down. Flat back, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps and just pause. Just one time, cow belly breath, opening your heart, look forward. And then gathering the belly, exhale downward, facing dog. Let's vinyasa, forward to plank. Your choice, you can lower to belly or through chaturanga, just halfway, elbows in, upward facing or cobra. Downward facing dog, exhale. Looking forward, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back, hands to shins, feel your heart reaching forward. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rising. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Flat back, lengthen. Left foot lunges back and pause in your runner's lunge. Inhale, heart opens. Feel the length, the space, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Vinyasa, plank pose. Maybe chaturanga or belly. Upward facing or cobra. Downward facing dog. Cleansing breath. And then looking forward, walk, step, or hop to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold down. Rise up, inhale. And hands to heart center. Just pause, be still, feel it. Hmm. 
Beautiful. Let's make our way, uh, make our way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach up. Exhale from the belly, fold. Flat back, inhale, your choice, chaturanga, or just step back to down dog. Which is where we will meet. From your down dog, bring your feet together and float your right leg up to the sky, breathing in. Exhale, look forward, step up through the hands, and then drop your back knee, untuck the toes. Beautiful. On your inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Mm, feeling that, just check in with that left quad. Just notice how it feels. We've been in a low lunge like hundreds of times before, but we did all that myofascial release. Maybe you're feeling just a little more open. Inhale, hands to heart center. And as you exhale, Twist to the right, hook your elbow to the outside of the knee. Hug that right hip back in space. Spiral your heart up to the thumbs and just feel it. Mm. You wanna go a little deeper here, make a fist with your left, your bottom hand and press the right hand, the top hand into that fist just to kind of assist yourself a little bit deeper. On your inhale, look down and then frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee, down dog split. Send the right leg up and back, bend the knee and fan the hip open. Mm. Beautiful. Exhale, knee to nose, rounding the spine, come forward. <clears throat> Inhale the leg all the way up and back. Exhale, knee to right tricep, tap it nice and high on the arm. Inhale the leg all the way up and back. Fall in triangle, bring that knee to the left tricep, then kick the leg through. Grounding your back heel, inhale your left arm up. Breathe, lift your hips, look up to the thumb if that's comfortable. Then exhale the hand down, three-legged dog, send your right leg again up to the sky, bending the knee, fan the hip open. And then let's flip our dog here. Turning inside out, lift your hips and heart. Reach that arm nice and long overhead. Exhale back to downward facing dog and flushing through the vinyasa if you wish. Taking a child's pose, whatever. Take a moment to return to the breath. Coming back to the moment. Let's now meet again in uh, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, inhale, left leg lift. Exhaling, look forward, step it up through the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and inhale the arms up. Maybe feeling a little more open in this white quad, this right quad. So if you're feeling like you can open forward a little bit more into this lunge, lifting that low belly. So the more you go in, the more you wanna support yourself. Nice long toned length in the arms and then bring hands to heart center, breathe in. Exhale, twist to the left and hook your elbow. Using a little leverage from your elbow on the knee to twist, but also gathering in the strength from the base Mula Bandha, from the belly. Should be a balance, a balance of effort and ease here. One more big breath in. 
And then looking down, hands frame the front foot. Down dog split, left leg sweeps back and up. Bending the knee, fan the hip for a nice release in that hip flexor. Exhale, knee to nose, or inhale, knee to nose, coming forward. Send that leg up and back. Knee to left tricep, coming forward. And send it back. Good. Knee to right tricep, hug it in close, and then kick it through. Inhale your right arm up, grounding your back heel. Fall in triangle. Do your best. One more breath. Exhale the hand down. Down dog split. Left leg lifts back and up. Bend the knee, fan the hip open, and let's flip. Turn inside out. Mm. Creating space. When you're ready, exhale, downward facing. Flow through the vinyasa, hold a plank pose. If you need one, child's pose, that's where we're gonna meet. Coming back to the breath, however you like. You can stay in down dog if you want. And now from wherever you are, we're gonna again come forward to the belly into Sphinx pose, so elbows on the mat. Forearms parallel, palms nice and wide, and just let your heart open forward. Breathing evenly and deeply. We're just gonna do a little bit of core work here with some Sphinx rolls. On your deep breath in, open your heart. And then on your full breath out, exhale, lift the belly and gaze back at your knees. Press away with the elbows. You can keep the knees on the mat for now. Hold it, five, four, three, two. And inhale, belly drops, open up your heart. Exhale again, lift the belly. Option to also lift the knees, keeping the toes on top so you're on the tops of the feet. Five, four, three, two, and inhale, Sphinx pose. Nice job. You can untuck the toes, give them a little wiggle. And let's go one more time, lifting the belly, lifting maybe also the knees. We're gonna hold here for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and inhale, Sphinx pose. Exhale, lower down. <laughs> give the hips a little wiggle, give the toes a little bit of a wiggle. And then grab your block for our second myofascial release little technique or exercise. So I'm gonna roll onto the left side. Grabbing the block, place it right underneath the armpit. So it's gonna kind of rest against this like lower, uh, the left set of ribs here, but up towards the armpit. You'll find like the perfect place for you. Bring your elbow down, rest your head on your hand. And again, the block is at its lowest height. 
And I think the closer to the armpit, the better. That's when you're really gonna get that. Just access those muscles we don't normally access. I'm gonna put the other hand, my free hand, in front of my chest, just to support myself. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Feeling this. And when you're ready, using that front hand, just rock gently forward and back. It's like another area that might surprise you in terms of tension and sensation. Just keep on breathing. And just making that choice for yourself. If you want to keep rocking or if you want to just like hold yourself still, allow the weight of the torso to soften on the block. Finding that sweet spot that <clears throat> needs the most release. Nice, take another breath here. Mm, and then rolling back to your belly or coming off in whatever way you want to. We're just gonna switch sides. Laying on the right. Putting that block lowest height underneath the side rib cage up towards the armpit propping yourself up on the right hand. Oh, hello. Nice and stacked with the shoulders. That'll really allow you to not only penetrate up towards the chest, but back through um, kind of where like the scapula, where the shoulder blade comes in. Take a few moments just to soften in. Hmm. And then when you're ready, you can start to rock slowly from side or front to back. Ooh. So I was like practicing this during the week and just kind of like exploring like different like techniques. And this was one I came to a lot. And now I feel like <laughs> I'm really getting deep into this tissue now after doing it a couple of times this week. So I'm trying not to go too deep right now. Another couple breaths. Giving yourself a couple moments after rocking to just be still and really relax on the block. And then very gently lifting off. Let's just lay prone on the belly for a moment, hands under the head. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Extend the arms back by your sides and let your chin rest or forehead rest. 
Big toes are touching. Bring the heels together as well. And then tone, firm the legs. On your inhale, lift your heart. For locusts, you can lift the legs as well. So right away, tapping into that openness. Find all the length you can through the side body, through the trunk, as you lift and open the heart. Send your arms back with strength and lift those wrists a little higher. Big breath in. Exhale, lower down, chin or cheek to the mat. Again, big toes and heels touch. Interlace hands maybe behind the back. Take a moment to roll the shoulder heads back. Bring the palms together. Inhale, lift the heart. And then lift the legs. Toning through the belly. Exhale, release. Good. Third back bend. We can go for bow pose if you want to join me, or you can do a, a third locust. Grabbing the tops of the feet. Exhale to soften. And then inhale to lift. Kick into the hands. Create that resistance. Let your heart shine forward, gazing to the horizon. Bring it all together with that quad opening, the rib cage opening. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Nice job. Hands under shoulders, up dog or cobra. Facing dog. Beautiful. Take a breath. From down dog, right leg lifts. On the exhale, bringing knee to the right wrist for pigeon pose. So you we're going deep today. We're gonna get nice and long through that back leg. And again, this is the place where you can feel kind of a little more openness in the quads and a little more space in the side body here. Pressing on the earth, lift your chest. Nice and long through the spine. If you want to play with that quad opening, you can bend the back knee, reach back with your left hand and grab the top of the foot. For a little upright active variation. And then walking the hands forward to soften into your pigeon pose. Just five breaths here. We're not gonna be here for too, too long. So feel every exhale softening you in. How long and slow and deep can the breaths be? Stay nice and level through the hips as well. Just notice if you're kind of flopping off to the right side. One more breath. And then walking your hands in, inhale, pressing up. We're gonna swing the back leg around and plant the foot to the outside of the right thigh, getting ready for a seated twist. Find both sit bones on the mat, and if that's not happening, extend this right leg forward. So your left knee is just crossed over. Place your left hand behind you, inhale, reach up, and exhale, hook the elbow. Connect the index finger and thumb for a little mudra and gaze over your back shoulder. Another chance here to lift up on Mula Bandha, the bathroom muscles, kind of clench up and in on the exhales. Low belly lifts up and in. And 
and then unraveling, inhale. We're going to bring the left hand forward and open up into standing half moon. So left hand forward, lift your right leg all the way up, reach your right arm up to the sky. You can have your left hand on a block here. And if you wanna go a little deeper for Chapasana, bending the knee, reaching for the top of the foot with the right hand, pressing the hip and heart forward. Oop. Make sure your left toes are pointing forward, that standing foot. Good. One more deep breath. We're gonna gently release to warrior two. Landing, flip the front palm. Inhale, radiant warrior, reach it back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands. Downward facing dog, stepping back. Or down dog split if you think that would feel good. Moving through the vinyasa. All the way back. Preparing for our second pigeon. Left leg lifts high and behind. Exhale, bringing the left knee to left wrist. Setting the shin down. Just check in with that back leg that it's going straight back and not off to the side. And then lifting your hips and heart, or sorry, lifting your heart and spine. Hmm. Option here to grab for your back foot if you want to go for the quad stretch. Right hand grabs the top of the back foot. And you can play with that or just lowering down. Take another deep round of breath. Inhale, walk the hands in, pressing up. And we're gonna swing that back leg around to plant the foot to the outside of the left thigh. Grounding the sit bones, sitting nice and tall. Just find the shoulders over the hips. Just mind you're not leaning back or lurching forward, right hand behind you, right next to the tailbone, reach your left arm up, and exhale, twist. Connecting index finger and thumb. On your inhale, let's unwind and bring your right hand forward, preparing for half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Bring that hand forward and we're gonna stand on the right foot as you expand and lift your left leg up to the sky. You can grab your block and place it under your right hand. Stacking, opening, reaching, pressing through that back heel. And then if you'd like, bending the knee, reaching with the left hand to grab the top of the foot, chapasana, sometimes called sugar cane pose. Stacking. 
Steady breath, one more. We're gonna gently release back to warrior two. Flip the front palm and reach back for Radiant Warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands for our last vinyasa, stepping back, down dog or down dog split, if that would feel good for your hip flexor. And then we'll flow through. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Hmm. Beautiful. So looking forward, let's just hop to squat. Feet to the outside of the hands, maybe as wide as your mat here. You can grab your block and place it underneath your seat just for a little assist. Mm, lifting the heart up to the thumb, sitting nice and tall. You're more than welcome to be in a more active squat here. You can also take this into crow pose if you'd like, planting the hands bringing the big toes together and bringing those knees high up onto the arms, the backs and the arms. Taking three more deep breaths. Maybe if you were in crow, you're here with us now in a little supported malasana. Hmm. And then lifting off the block, we're gonna reach back for it and just slide it forward so it's at the top of the mat and then stepping back to plank pose. <clears throat> Lower nice and slowly to your belly. And we're just gonna flip onto the back here. For our final, <clears throat> excuse me, our final myofascial technique here, we're gonna grab the block and again, at its lowest setting, placing it underneath the head. So it's supporting Kind of like the base of the skull. It's not so far that it's putting pressure on the back of your neck. It should just be underneath the skull. You can have the hands on the belly here. You can have them by the sides. So just take a moment to settle in. Let the back of the head get nice and heavy on the block. And then we're gonna to start to rock the head from side to side. But I would recommend just rocking to the right for a moment and pausing, feeling the stretch through the left side of the neck. Don't force or try to create more sensation, just breathe and go nice and slow. We never wanna go like too hot and heavy with the neck because it could like spasm and seize up. <laughs> hot and heavy with the neck. <laughs> Very gentle opening. We're gonna rock through center and over to the left. And 
And coming back to center, just take a moment, walking the shoulder blades down and away from the ears, creating a little more space and now rocking fluidly side to side. Feeling those muscle groups elongate. Let's go one more rock to each side. And back to center. So here we're going to do a very gentle, like tucking and lifting of the chin. So your head is kind of going to slide around on the block a little bit. So as you exhale, very gently dropping the chin towards the chest. And then inhaling, lift the chin. So try not to push too hard in the back of the head. It's like kind of like rest easy. And then again, tilting the chin down. Tilting the chin up. And always lingering or kind of staying in a particular place if that's feeling really good or like your body needs it. And after a couple more tilts and lifts, and come back to center. And just pause in stillness. If you'd like, you can lift off the block now, setting your head down and opening up into Shavasana.
By focusing less on your own worries and more on the potential happiness of others, you actually create more space for yourself. Not only that, but the mind becomes softer, more malleable, and easier to work with. It tends to be quicker to settle on the object of meditation, less easily distracted by passing thoughts. It also tends to be clearer, less, more stable, and less reactive to volatile emotions. So giving yourself practice, an altruistic edge, is about so much more than simply doing the right thing. It should come as no surprise that the impact this simple skill can have on your relationships with others is quite profound. In becoming more aware of everything and everyone, you inevitably become more aware of others. You start to notice how sometimes you might unintentionally or even intentionally push their buttons or notice what causes them to push yours. You start to listen to what they're actually saying rather than thinking about what you'd like them to say or what you're going to say next. And when these things begin to happen, you'll start to notice that your relationships with others really change. But so long as we're immersed in our own thoughts, it's very truly difficult to find time for others. That's from Andy Pukome, the founder of Headspace. I love him. Such a great way of discussing the practice. I'm taking a deep breath in and out. Thank you yourself for a moment. Acknowledging that you've taken the time to take care of yourself today giving you more power, space, and time to take care of others, which we know is all part of the cycle of being alive. Move the fingers and toes, stretch the arms, and draw your knees into the chest. Making your way to your side and then to a comfortable seat. No rush. Once you find your seat, bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in, lifting the shoulders up to your ears, a nice big shrug. And as you exhale, open the mouth. <sighs> Let them relax away from the ears. I'm sending you a little virtual cleansing. Thank you very much for sharing your time and energy with me and the rest of the community today. I appreciate you. Let's bring thumbs to third eye and bow as we say, Namaste. Mm.